Morning, guys. It's Tuesday morning. No, Wednesday morning. Good lord, I missed a day. Anyways, um, I took down my Monday morning video or my Monday video because I, I don't know. It just seemed like nobody really was watching it. Or if they were watching it, it didn't seem to be getting any good reviews. Or maybe nobody was really enjoying it. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Um, I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, I've listened to it several times. I've watched it several times trying to figure out what is wrong with it or what could be offensive or disrespectful or, you know, why somebody wouldn't like it. I know towards the end where I'm trying to do my makeup, it just doesn't seem like I'm doing a lot of talking and I'm not really showing my makeup's portion. I don't know, maybe that's it. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why it's not. And I know, I know perhaps maybe I've said a certain president's and maybe everybody expects a certain type of presentation from me. And, uh, uh. It's not always going to be that way, you know, I try, I try to be real, I try to be me, and sometimes I'm going to have an opinion, sometimes I'm going to say things that maybe sound cruel or rude or disrespectful, but they're just my thoughts or my opinions, and if they are offensive, just say so. I don't want everybody to watch my videos and not feel like they can't have a, an opinion and have a critique about it. Don't be afraid to say something in a professional, or not necessarily professional, but in an appropriate negative create critical treat way you know if it, I accept negative comments to a certain degree if they are presented in the proper way if you're gonna be rude and call me names and you know just be a jerk no I'm not I will not have those kind of comments on my page any more than anybody else wants them there. I know, you know, bigger YouTubers and stuff like that, they leave a lot of their negative comments there because they don't have time to sit there and go through and block them or whatever or ignore them. Well, I do. And I will. And, you know, yeah, I just went through yesterday and... Sorry. <laughs> and she's blue. She's red. She's blue. She's red. She's blue. She's red. Oh, whoa. And there's some entertainment for us. Get that itch, Buster. Get that itch. Oh, stretch. Itch, 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 itch. Yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed that one. Now that's what I get to wake up to in the morning sometimes is my dogs. <sighs> Itching the crap out of themselves. Oh, sorry. It's like 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. I don't want to be awake, but I have to because I have to clean my room somewhat up and make my closet accessible so that uh, an inspector can come in and make sure that the 
water heater was installed properly and all that jazz and oh. you know I'm not looking to make YouTube my lifestyle I'm not making looking to make YouTube as my th source of income but I'm beginning to understand why so many people and so many creators that start out get to a point where they say, you know what, it ain't worth it. Because you either have people that start out strong, love your videos, and then all of a sudden you make one video that just doesn't fit the norm of the rest of your videos and it, everything goes to crap and everybody just starts ignoring you or hating you or whatever and I don't know what's going on I don't know anything about anything I, I don't know about you know all this drama and stuff I I haven't been following it I haven't been a part of it I haven't been involved in it I mean yes I've been I've picked up pieces here and there <laughs> But in all honesty, I don't know jack about it, and I don't want to know jack about it, and I don't want to be a part of it. And if somebody wants to drag me into it, they're going to find out that I don't give in. I will not play into someone else's little mind games and get into the whole crap of he said, she said. I got better things to do with my life. So, I don't I don't have time for it. I'm here. Bless you, Scrappy. Well, sorry, my dog sneezed. I'm here to try and share who I am, all the facets of me, the good, the bad, the ugly. Because here's the reality. Yes, I have bipolar. Yes, I have PTSD. I also have a borderline personality disorder. You know, it's not about me laying out all my medical diagnosis and being like, Oh yeah, this is me. I'm a crazy freaking psycho woman wrapped up into a nutshell of beauty. Oh, sorry, my eyes are watering. Ugh, morning crap. Uh, that that's not what I'm here for but yes I want to share who I am you know uh, it's not just about my fibromyalgia yes that is the main focus is to share what my life is like with fibromyalgia um, you know yes I'm on medication to help manage it and that's all it does is manage it and help me to Cope with it. It doesn't cure it. It doesn't fix it. I still have massive flare-ups because I have other compounded injuries that play into it that make it worse. That make it to where, you know, I have one good day where I can get shit done and then I'm down for almost a full week or so where I have I, my body is so much pain it hurts <clears throat> apparently it, it, I, I took on on, on phlegm balls too mm, sorry num 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 uh, um, it hurts so much to where I can't even hardly move. I can't stand up straight because my back is so screwed up. Uh, I've had several back injuries. Nothing to where I've broken anything, but I have strained my back, bruised my back. And it's just, it's screwed up. Uh, you know, I... You know, I... But, I, I don't want everything to be all you know, sad and, you know, all painful and all miserable and all misery. I want there to be 
some happiness and some joy joy feelings and stuff and I haven't been feeling that lately I've been going through some really weird mood things um, and I've been trying to cope with them trying to figure them out trying to deal with them trying to understand why I've been feeling the way I've been feeling um, Quite frankly, it's not your, nobody's business why or what has been going on because I don't need people coming at me and judging me, you know. So there are certain things I'm not going to share, point blank. So, you know, if you're a close friend with, of mine, yeah, you'll know. Um, if you, you know, uh, a few select people know. I mean, I suppose if you really want to know, you'll find me, you do research, and you'll figure it out. Um, then there'll be others that'll speculate, so speculate away. It's just some good fortune has fallen into my lap, or into my, you know, and... But at the same time, I'm... I don't feel fortunate at all. And that's where I'm going to leave that. But as far as back to my video that I put up Monday, I thought it was an awesome video. Until the end after... I guess it kind of started going downhill after my husband came home. Or when my husband came over his break and kind of interrupted it. And I still kept trying to log or vlog or whatever you want to call it when he was home. And it just... It lost its vibe. But at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was the beginning and maybe some people didn't like it. Or maybe, heck, maybe nobody's watching my vlogs anymore. Maybe everybody's unsubscribed and isn't getting notifications anymore. I don't know. I, I really don't. I don't have a clue. I know I had some issues with trying to get it uploaded and uh, and all that. Uh, yes, right now it's not available to be viewed because I just, I was really struggling with it, trying to understand, and I was feeling really bad about it, and I wanted to try and figure it out. So, you know, if you've seen the video, but you didn't comment, um, please, let me know what turned you off about it. And I don't understand either, too, why it seems like people are only watching certain portions of my videos. Um, I don't know, are they that boring? Is it because they're so long? I, I don't know. Um... I don't do live streams. I don't have the availability. Well, I mean, yes, I can have the availability to do live streams. I just won't do live streams because my husband is usually home. And when my husband's home, I don't have a space where I can have quiet time where I won't have the interruptions of my husband playing his video games and screaming at them. That's just who he is. I, I love and accept him for that. But I f don't want that in my videos. And <laughs> I don't need everybody to hear him screaming and flipping the F word and that and this, that, and the other thing. I really don't want my videos flagged. I just don't. I mean, yes, every once in a while I'll drop the, you know, I'll say shit or, you know, something like that. Um, but for the most part I try to keep my language yeah, at least PG. Mostly G. Um, yeah, I'm breaking out. I have acne issues. Hormones, I guess. I don't know. Either it's just because I've been being consistent with my facial regimen of washing my face and all that fun to do. Um,. I do want to start doing a series of monthly fav favorites and unfavorites. 
I know a lot of YouTubers do that, so. Mm, but I want to do it. And no, it's not going to be all eight. <laughs> Excuse me. All Avon products. Because I don't use all Avon products on everything. There's a lot of things that I do use that aren't Avon. Um, yes, I know some of my videos will be Avon products. Um, I think what I'm going to do is try and stray away from that. Because I... I mean, yes, I do use my Avon products. Because, I mean, yeah, that, there was some pr that was a pretty palette that I used. That was... Wow. Even my mother-in-law loved that palette. The the Mark palette. Whew. Those are some pretty colors. So, but I do need to make videos of, you know, the products I use that I try uh, for Avon. And I might, and I do share them on YouTube. Sorry, my head itches. On YouTube. Because I feel like, why not? Why should not share on YouTube as well as promote it on my business page at the same time. I'm not trying to be like, oh look, ma, eh. I pay out of my own pocket for those products. I don't, just because I'm a representative and I sell those Avon doesn't mean I'm making big bucks. I'm not. I don't even have any freaking customers right now, um, except for family, which they order few and far between. So, I'm buying those products out of my own pocket, well, with my own money, and I'm having to pay for it. And the reason I am making videos using them is because I'm using those to try and drum up business to try and you know put it on my business page to try and get customers because right now I don't have my driver's license I don't have a car which that's going to change in the near future but right now I don't have that so I'm stuck at home and in my trailer court they have a strict rule of no solicitation which if anybody knows no solicitation means you cannot go door to door knocking on people's door and saying, hi, I am your Avon lady, blah, blah, blah. That is solicitation because you are trying to sell something. So, I don't. So, I have no customers right now. And, uh, so, you know, I don't know. I know people live in this delusional world of thinking, oh, everybody's making big money off of YouTube. And everybody's making big money off of this, that, and the other thing. Uh, newsflash, no. We're not. You know, um, I've seen a lot of my favorite YouTubers are having to make Patreon accounts and stuff like that to simply pay for, to continue to make their videos just to pay for supplies. Not because they're trying to make it big. Um, the biggest YouTuber who's on top, who happens to be one of my favorite YouTubers, it's PewDiePie, and you know what? He's still making videos, and he don't give a jack about making money. And yet everybody's like, oh, it's about what? No, it's not. You know, I just, I guess this is part of what my video is about on Monday, and maybe that's what upset people is that I talked about how I feel like everybody... Or how electronics and and the have just taken over and everything, cell phones and stuff like that. I just there have been more car accidents that I've heard about that have been caused because of texting and driving. Why, you know? I mean, if it's so offensive that I'm trying to say, hey. Let's stop. Let's unplug ourselves from our electronics and and plug ourselves in to the real world again. Is that so freaking offensive? If it is, well, I'm sorry. I guess maybe uh pfft, maybe we all just want to become a bunch of drones. I don't know. I'm sorry. I just I get frustrated 
with this whole thing because it just seems like I feel like I don't know I just I'm very frustrated right now I'm very confused and I just don't know what everybody expects. I am trying, I am making these videos not because I want to cater, no, 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 no. Let, let me retract that. Yes, I want to cater to my audience, but I also want to make these videos because they make me happy and if I am going to already start feeling like a video that I think was great and made me happy made me laugh and made me feel good except for like the last three minutes of a video but yet nobody else gave a crap about it. um I don't know uh makes me question things to uh, just say you know what I don't give a crap screw everybody else's opinions I'm gonna just do this because I want to because I like it because I think it's funny because I think it's you know an expression of my opinion and I have that right or you know I mean, it wasn't rude. I wasn't trying to be rude. I was just expressing my thoughts and how I feel about things and what I think. And I used my own feelings about, you know, how I feel about things. You know? I'm a mom. I have three kids that are growing up in this world that I worry about because I'm not there for them. I mean, I am, sort of, it's complicated, and, I don't know, anyways, it's just, you know, I just don't know why everything should have to be so stinking difficult. Mental health and fibromyalgia has a tendency to coincide with each other. And it makes life difficult sometimes. And it makes doing things frustrating. And sometimes my mind gets fried. And I go off in places that may not be coherent, may not be fluent may not be um I don't know all happy bubbly ha 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 but it's me look <laughs> gotta love the hair like I said I just woke up I'm still in bed I haven't brushed my hair haven't done nothing so you get the raw Wendy the oh my god she just crawled out of bed what the heck I haven't even had coffee. That's how much I love you guys. I haven't had coffee. And I'm coming to you. I'm appealing to you saying, hey, what was wrong with my video? What is it that you desire? Um, What can I do to make my videos more exciting for you without having to fake it? Without having to try and pretend to be something I'm not? I'm not going to... I don't do scripts. Um, okay, yes, there is going to be a series in the ne near future that's going to be a story time situation, but it's going to be a very special story time because it's, uh, it'll be a copyrighted thing, but it's, something that I'm collabing with my mother on 
just to give you a little insight, um, my mother is an author. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of, so, um, but we have to wait. <laughs> um, there's a reason we're waiting. There's a reason. And I hope when I get the series going and we get it up and we get it moving and I start presenting it, I hope y'all enjoy. I know I'm going to enjoy it because I love reading my mother's stories. <sighs> Speaking of stories, I have to work on proofreading a book my mother wrote. Yes, I proofread my mother's books. Yes, I tell my mother whether I think they're worthwhile. No, I am not. Do I don't base it off of being her daughter. I don't base it off of whether, you know, because I love her. I base it off of a professional consumer type relationship. I look at it from a perspective of if I was someone who went into a bookstore and picked up the book and started reading through it, uh, whether in the first few chapters it grabbed my attention and, oh my god, I want this and I bought it or not. That's how I work with my mom. That's how it's always been with my mother and how we work together. My mother and I have it. <laughs> Sorry, morning itchies. My mother and I have a very unique relationship when it comes to that. Um, we pro She proofreads my letters and uh, professional documentations, just to make sure my grammar is correct and all of that, which is where I've learned how to write most of my stuff. Um, and I read her stuff and give her, her my professional opinion as far as a consumer thinking perspective. <sighs> I am a jack of all trades and a master of none. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I, 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 I educate myself. I'm, I'm an overachiever. Um, I want to absorb as much knowledge as possible. I want to know how you know, something works, how to do something right, how to do, you know, if there's an educational course to take, if there's, you know, something I can do to learn how to do something more efficiently, I'll, you know, I want to do it. Uh, I read uh, research papers, uh, you know, I, I find all the information I can, um, and that's how I do it, especially about, you know, my health and, you know, my mental health, my physical health, you know, fibromyalgia, you know, all of that. I, I've researched it. I've read up on it. I've read all kinds of different articles and all of that. And, <clears throat> you know, um, since May is Fibromyalgia Awareness Month, um, I think, I know I'm like, what, fourth day in? Third day in. Third day in. Um... I know I'm a little behind, uh, I might, I don't know, I might try and do something about, you know, throwing in some videos about what exactly fibromyalgia is for those that don't know what it is, um, I don't know, I know there's a lot of fibromyalgia people out there that are probably doing some stuff that is similar, um, not trying to rip anybody off. This is not on ideas. There's a lot of ideas in this head of mine. Anyways, uh, I don't know. Uh, this is a 30 minute video already. I think I made my point. So, uh, let's recap. Uh, anybody seen yes Monday's video? Uh, Give me pointers on it, why you liked it, disliked it. Um, don't sugarcoat it. Don't try and be like, you know, just because you're my friend. Don't be nice about it. Be honest. Uh, uh, 
What else? I guess that was it. Yeah. So, let's just give honest critique. So, I love you guys. And uh, Fiber Warriors for the win. Hashtag. And, uh, whoops, change color again. Sorry. Um, yeah. Wacky Wednesday for you. Everybody have a great day. And I will see y'all later. Comment down below. Click subscribe. Uh,. like give it a big thumbs up if you like this video um and somewhere around here on the screen uh go ahead and watch my other videos thank you and you have an awesome day